so happy for you. I'm so excited to see everything you're doing because the last time we chatted, you know, you were dropping some new music, you had freshly come out and it was a really life-changing moment for you, not only personally, but professionally. So just to kind of ask you like, how's everything been going? I know that was a lot for you to go through back then. So how are you feeling now? And what's David up to these days? I mean, I guess I just feel a lot more comfortable with myself and less scared of what that could mean because now I've been able to sit with it for for over a year now and explore that and just not judge myself so much for simply being the way that I am. It's It's been very freeing to do that, but it's also been difficult having to re-identify like what is, what is my identity now? What is my purpose? Because Literally, my purpose before was building up the kingdom of God, and the greatest way to do that was to marry a woman and have children with her. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, okay, I have to think. <laughs> that was my ultimate goal for the first 30 years of my life. Now I have to decide what is what it is as a queer person. I've been engaged three times. I have I've bought three wedding rings, and I've for girls, but it felt dishonest. And they knew it, they, they could tell like, I was not being fully honest with them. And so now that I'm being honest, the thing you taught me is like backfiring because for queer people in the church, in order for them to be honest and truth, and they're like, God is truth, God is light. The way to have light is to, to have truth. And it's like, okay, I'm being honest with myself. And they're like, not that, like you guys, exception light. You lie about yourself. <laughs> I just say I'm queer. I still don't know exactly where I am on the spectrum. I'm definitely more leaning towards guys, but I, I um, and that's who I've been dating, or, or guys. You have this new single, Faith In Me, which I know, clarify for me a little bit, you actually went back and rewrote a little bit to kind of explain the journey you're on right now. So can you tell us a little bit about that song? Right. Um, since I've come out, I feel like I've, it's been very difficult for me to write because before I felt like everything that I wrote about was spiritually driven. I was thinking I'm at a place where I just want to have a moment of release, like just breaking free, high energy, having fun, dancing around the room. And so I rewrote the melody, rewrote a lot of the lyrics and reflect more of where I'm at now after having come out and how it feels. So it's that liberating feeling and I'm very happy with how it came out. Because it's high energy, I'll like play it at the gym and stuff. And so it's weird, I'm like, I'm listening to myself, <laughs> to pump myself up. But I'm like, I, I guess I should just own it because that's, it's the reality, that's what I do. I know our friend uh, Kevin McHale directed the video, right? Yeah, he co-directed it with another one of our friends, Justin Thorne, and um, I've, this is like the third or fourth video I've done with them and it's been a lot of fun. Kevin was one of my first friends that I called to be like, okay, what is it like? Like, what is it like after coming out? What is it like dating a guy? Like, I don't know what that's like, to be honest. I don't know the dynamic. And so he, he gave me some, some advice and it was, uh, I was really appreciative of that. He was <laughs> letting me ask just all these, what I, I felt were strange, but he was like, you can ask me anything, anytime, so. You're going on a tour very, very soon and you're coming to Las Vegas, which I'm super excited about. So I have to come see you. Yeah, you should. Christmas has always been my favorite time of year to do shows. They've been my favorite shows to do because they're hopeful, they're magical, they're, and, it's like, it takes you to this place of awe and wonder of like all these miracles and things. And but at the same time, I feel like it's a miracle that I've gotten to this place where I am of accepting myself. I didn't, I didn't think I ever could. I thought the only way that I could accept myself is if this part of me was gone and to get rid of it and praying that this part would no longer be associated with who I am as David. And now it's a miracle that I'm like, I embrace this part of me and I love this part of me. And I never had been able to say that I love myself.